What's up, guys? It's Broman back here in Destiny, and I just kind of wanted to give you guys a rundown, a week one report card, if it were. So, here's what we've gotten done in week one and what we've gotten in week one that matters. We have completed the raid three times. We have acquired some pretty cool raid gear. We've gotten the Pulse Rifle, the Smite of Mirren. We've gotten the Anguish of Drystain. We've gotten the, uh, we've gotten the Shotgun, the Silence of Aaron. Uh, and we've gotten the Sharknado launcher, Elysi Ilium's Frenzy. Along with that, we managed to rank, uh, rake in some new exotics, too. We've got a Stag, a Lipanar Nemesis, and an Obsidian Mind, as well as hitting 300 overall on the Warlock, which is pretty cool. We also got this Path of Soul. Bound together, their power knows no limits, save their thirst for more. But that's not all! We also got some really cool stuff on our other characters that I wanted to let you know about. The Struggle! The struggle throughout all of this has been <clears throat> getting a ghost shell. A ghost shell was the most difficult thing for me to get. Um, <laughs> it took me the entire week to get a ghost shell above 290. And the second I did, it was like, bam, 300 characters. My Titan can get to 302, but we've gotten stuff around. But we've also managed to pull in some other cool exotics. We've got the Boolean Gemini, which is pretty cool. I'm still kind of learning how to use it. Boolean Gemini, which of course comes from a quest from Petra called Lost and Found. Uh, as well as this, the Imago Loop or the Fake Bringer, uh, gotten by killing the Undying Mind. Uh, the Omobius, which is a uh, quest that you do as a Titan, and it has a pretty awesome skill. The Bouncer kills inside the Word of Dawn. Do not expend ammo. It's great. Um, along with this, my first 310 exotic, the Invective. How fitting shotgun much uh which is just super awesome can't wait to can't wait to try this out in everywhere because it's 310 uh we also got ourselves the soul edge and on my uh on my my warlock you saw the arc edge um i'm ready to do the next part of the soul edge quest on this guy B -b -b bam right right here or no right here we're waiting for arms day on that and that's for the exotic sword right there guys also we got the war newman's fist always the same enter his court and call him out pretty awesome uh along with our 310 uh relic which we got from eris you get this uh from finishing the raid with a quest i can't remember its name because i am a doo-doo butt um this 228 this 288 go shell though oh so fuck so good i was stuck on 288 282 go shell for so long and then finally on our hunter uh, we have some other stuff as well. Uh, I didn't go over the Titan exotics that I unlocked, but they're all pretty much the New Year 1 ones, and I haven't really got a new one, I don't think. Oh no, I got that one! I got that one! Shit, it's late, guys. I'm tired. I made a mistake. Uh, we have the Skyburners Annex, which is actually which is actually pretty fun. It's fun to, fun to use. We got the Dark Hollow Grasps, uh, which of course are uh, raid loot. Uh, as the vastness of our universe is but a blank page on which they scrawl their words of hate and death. Damn. That's 309, pretty good pull, along with uh, our Dark Hollow Treads. Even now, the Daughters of Oryx weave black words of blight to blind his realm to bind his realm to ours. So scary. And I got the Cloak of Tankus. Tanix. Oh my god, I can't read. This is an exclusive drop from Killing. You guessed it. Tanix. Uh, I got it in the Heroic Strike playlist, but I'm pretty sure you can get it all over the place. I don't know why that Dragon's Breath is here. Um, and yeah, man, that's pretty much that's pretty much my 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 rundown for for this week. My report card: uh, three raid completions, a whole lot of nightfalls full of nothing, and a whole lot of exotic farming full of nothing, but still lots to do. All in all, this week, guys, I think I sunk uh, about 60 plus hours, 70 probably at this point. Uh, into Destiny after the Taken King is launched, and I still have piles of stuff that I have not completed, which bodes well for the game's longevity and makes me really, really happy. Really happy. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> you are all totally amazing. Don't forget that I love you, and I'll catch you next time in Destiny. Let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys have been doing. Let me know what your highlights from week one were. Um because I'm curious. Love you guys. See ya.